it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. Hey there, it's Stephen here with StudyClicks, and in this video, we're talking about probability. Now, probability is a numerical measure of the chance of something happening. Now, these numbers can either be decimals, fractions, or percentages. And typically, a question will tell you which one they want, but if they don't, you can give any of those as your answer. And a reminder that probabilities lie between 0 and 1, or 0 and 100%. Now, let's take a look at the formula. I'm going to tell you that the probability of something happening is the number of desired outcomes over the total number of outcomes. And let's see a question here to check this out in action. I'm told a bag contains one yellow, four blue, two green, and five red marbles. Find as a fraction, decimal, and percentage, so they want all three here, the probability that a randomly selected marble is part A, blue. Now look, the first thing I'm going to be telling you to put down in any probability situation is your total number of outcomes. Here, that's the total number of marbles in the bag. So I'll be adding together one and four and two and five to know that my total is 12. And we're going to go ahead and use this in our question. So part A asks me to find the probability of selecting a blue marble. Now watch how I write this. I say P of blue, which means the probability of blue. So that's probability notation there, P of whatever your outcome is. And all I do is it's the number of desired outcomes. So there's four blue out of the total number of outcomes, which is 12. So as a fraction, I'll simplify this to one over three. Then I'll convert it into a decimal, so using the change button on your calculator, 1 over 3, change it. It is 0 0.3 recurring, so the dot on the 3. And then to turn this into a percentage, I'm simply going to times that exact number then by 100 to get 33.3 .3 recurring percent. So my three answers here are first up we have 1 third, then we have 0 0.3 recurring, and then we have 33.3%. Let's move on to part B where I'm asked to find the probability of a yellow. So what I do is I put the number of desired outcomes, which is yellow, so there's one yellow outcome out of the possible 12. That fraction is simplified, so throw it into the calculator and change it to a decimal to get 0.083 with a recurring on the 3. Next I want to write this as a percentage, so I'm going to times that by 100. You can times either the fraction or the decimal by 100, and we're going to get 8.3 recurring percent and C is the exact same. The probability of a green marble here is the number of green ones, which is two out of the total of 12. Simplify that fraction to one over six, throw it into your calculator to change it to a decimal. We get 0.16 recurring, and then times that by 100 to get our fraction of 16.6 .6 recurring percent. So again, to get your percentage, you can multiply either your fraction or your decimal by 100 to get the 16.6 .6 recurring. Let's keep going with this example. So part D says find the probability that a randomly selected marble is red or blue. Now all I'm going to do here is I'm going to note that there's five red and four blue. So that gives a total of nine possibilities here for the red or the blue. And then I put that out of my total of 12, simplify the fraction to three quarters, change that as a decimal in the calculator to 0.75 and times it by 100 to get 75%. Another way you can think about this question is you can take the probability of a red, which is five out of 12, and then add on the probability of a blue, which is four over 12, which gives us nine over 12, and then the exact same answers as above. But I typically just go ahead and combine them straight away, but if you want to add them separately, you absolutely can. Looking at part E to find the probability of choosing a yellow or a green marble, I look to see that there's one yellow and two green, meaning there's three possibilities here for yellow or green. That three goes out of 12. I simplify my fraction to one quarter, and then I'm changing it to a decimal, which I know is 0.25. And then I multiply either the fraction of the decimal by 100 to convert it into a percentage of 25%. Again, you could add separately the yellow, the 1 over 12, plus the green, which is 2 over 12, to get your 3 out of 12, and same answer as above. Last up, let's talk about the probability of something not happening. Now here I'm asked to find the probability that a randomly selected marble is not blue. So it can be any of the other colours except for blue. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to give you a wee shortcut. The probability of an event not occurring is 1 minus the probability of the event occurring. So let's take a look and see what I mean by that. To find the probability of not blue, it would be 1 minus the probability of it occurring, of it being blue. So what do I mean by that? It will be 1 minus the probability of a blue marble, which is 4 out of 12. When I subtract those, I simply will get 
2 over 3. And then I want to change that to my decimal, which I know is 0 0.6 recurring, and times it by 100 to get my percentage at 66.6% and a recurring on the decimal. So that's the probability of choosing a non-blue marble. Another way you could think about it to get the probability of a not blue is you could add up all the other colours that aren't blue. So the yellow, which would have a probability of 1 over 12, plus the green, which has a probability of 2 over 12, plus the red, which has a probability of 5 over 12. And that gives me two thirds when I add those. And so we get the exact same answer as above. I think the 1 minus the probability of the event occurring is a little quicker, so I'll usually go with it that way. Let's apply it then to part G, the probability of selecting a not red marble. Well, it's just going to be 1 minus the probability of the event happening, so it's the 1 minus the probability of choosing a red one. So that's going to be 1 minus we 5 out of 12 reds, so 1 minus 5 over 12 is 7 over 12. And then I simply type that in my calculator to change it to a decimal. So I'm getting 0.583 with a recurring on the 3. And times it by 100 to get our percentage, it's 58.3 recurring percent. So that's all there is to probability, folks. You have your basic probability formula where you have the desired outcomes over the total outcomes. Then you have the or scenario where you could be picking a red or a yellow marble. So you just add them together. And then in these last parts, we saw the probability of something not happening. Really handy once you get your head around it. Now it's your turn to practice some probability. Pause the video here, try these questions out and check in with the solutions when they appear on screen. Be wary of the decimals in question two. Here in question one, you can see our solutions are given as fractions. Make sure you simplify your fractions. And in question two, we're being very careful with our rounding to two decimal places. Make sure you're expanding out those recurring decimals. In part F, the symmetrical letter is a letter that can be chopped in half, which gives a perfectly even reflection each side of the line of symmetry. Thanks for watching.